Welcome to this QuickBooks 2022 tutorial for beginners on the difference between entering a bill and entering an expense. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And first things first, hey, if this video is helpful, please like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, also share it, share it with uh, on social media, share it with friends, other business owners, other bookkeepers, uh, people that will benefit from this video. And lastly, subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, it helps me out tremendously to keep bringing these videos, and I sure would appreciate it. Okay, so let's get down to it. We're here on the QuickBooks home screen. And before I get into this, I want to show you, uh, first, I want to talk about the difference between entering a bill and entering an expense. And then second, I want to show you how to do each of those in QuickBooks. All right, I'm going to keep it very simple. Now, a bill in QuickBooks is when you owe somebody money later. OK, so everyone, you know, in a business, you get bills, you get bills for power, for rent, whatever the case may be, software, and you don't have to pay it immediately. You can pay it in, you know, 15 days, 30 days, 45 days, whatever the case may be. So any time that you owe money to somebody, a vendor later, and it's not due immediately, that is going to be a bill. Now, an expense, on the other hand, is when you spend your money right now. So you go to the gas station, you use a debit card, you uh, go to Costco and buy supplies or staples, Office Depot, whatever it is, you use a debit card, that's going to be a current expense. Now, and this gets a little bit confusing, it's also an expense when you use a credit card. So that's also a current expense because the credit card company is paying that on your behalf. And then later when you get a credit card bill, you owe the credit card company. But when you charge it, it's a current expense. I've got other videos on entering credit card charges, reconciling credit cards. Check out those videos and those will be very helpful. So again, just to rehash this a little bit, a bill in QuickBooks is going to be when you owe money later to a vendor. And an expense is when you spend that money right now, immediately. All right, so let's get down to it. We're going to I'm, again, here at the home screen, and we are going to walk through how to enter a bill and then how to enter an expense. First, before I get to that, I want to direct you over to the QuickBooks University website. The QuickBooks University is a course. I have a master class there where I walk you through everything from start to finish. The hard part is with QuickBooks is really understanding the big picture and getting a feel for the flow of okay if i do this how does it affect this and if i enter here how does it affect down here so you can watch these videos similar to this one where it'll tell you how to do one thing in quickbooks but our quickbooks master class at the quickbooks university shows you how to do everything from start to finish and i also answer your personal quickbooks questions so head over there qbuniversity.org. Be sure to sign up and you will not be disappointed. So let's get back to this here. So the first thing is uh, you get a bill. You get a bill in the mail. You owe it later. You're going to see a little button right here that says enter bills. You simply click this and you see a bill screen that pops up and it's pretty self-explanatory. I've got other tutorials on my channel here that walks you through very comprehensively how to enter a bill, but it's pretty straightforward. You're going to first choose your vendor. All right, so let's say this is the city of Middlefield. You're going to put in the bill date. Okay, this will default to today's date, but you want to make sure that you enter the bill date that's on the bill. It's not going to be today's date. So let's say this is 11-30-2023. Reference number, very, very important. You want to put in the invoice number. So if there is an invoice number, you want to make sure that you enter it here. You're going to put in the amount, let's say $25, and then you're going to put in the due date. So we're going to say this is due 12-31-2023. Okay, now if the terms have changed from the vendor or they are different, so let's say that they are net 15 or let's say net 30 since we're doing 30 days we'll say net 30 you're going to change the terms there if there is a discount you can put that in here uh, and of course if you want to put a memo now the last thing is you need to specify the account so we are going to say that let's say that this is 
union dues. Okay, we owe union dues to the city of Middlefield City Hall, twenty-five dollars. All right, so this is a bill. Again, we're going to pay this later, and so we're going to enter it this way through this bill screen. Okay, so that's it. Then we hit save and close. Uh, you've changed the terms. Yes, I want to update those. And that's it. That's how you enter a bill. Be sure to check out the other videos on how to pay bills in QuickBooks that I also have on the channel. Okay, now let's say that you just have a current expense. Much, much different. You're not going to go into the enter bill screen. Okay, so the, the easiest way that you can do this and I always tell people is just simply go straight to the check register register. There's two ways you can do this. One, you can go to banking and you can say write checks or you can go to use register. If you're not really that familiar with QuickBooks, going to register is going to be a little challenging. It could be, uh, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's very easy. The other way, the simpler way is to go to write checks. And I say this because it brings up a screen similar to the bill screen. Now, you might be saying, okay, well, I'm not writing a check for this. That's okay, because when you put it in as writing a check in QuickBooks, it goes to the check register and records it as an expense. So a check is, is, is as if you are paying that expense right now. So let me show you both ways. We're going to say, first of all, pay to the order of, and let's say this one we are also doing to City of Middlefield. Uh, let's see, you have unpaid bills. That's the one that we just entered. And we are going to continue writing the check because we're not paying that bill. Now for the check number, since there is no check, and let's say that you used a debit card, uh, I always put in things like EFT. You can put in debit card. You know, you can put in anything that you want to put that signifies that this was paid electronically could be online bill pay, or not bill pay since that's a bill, but it could be some kind of electronic transaction online. Uh, but you want to just signify, you don't want to put a check number in here. We'll say the date is today's date, and we'll say that this was $50. And you'll see that it's defaulting to union dues because of our previous transaction. But this will count as an expense right now on 12-15-2023, the date that we entered here and we just hit save and close. Now, let's take a look at if we go to banking and use register. So first of all, you got to choose what register am I using? So since we're spending money out of the checking account, we'll say checking, mm -hmm. and you'll see here that we have a check register. All right, so the check register looks just like an old style check register where you, you, know, you wrote in the transaction details. So down here, you'll see 12-15-2023, check number, again, we're going to say it's EFT, payee, city of Bayshore, that we'll say, we'll say this one was $75, and we'll say, okay, this was job expenses, permits, and licenses, and you can type in a memo if you want, and then you just click record, it's very, very simple to do, all right, so that $75 came out of here. Let's see, here it is right here. And you can also see the previous check that we wrote for $50 to City of Middlefield right there. And that is how you enter an expense. So it's pretty straightforward. All right, so any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Again, quick recap, uh, a bill is when you're gonna pay it later and a current expense is when you are paying that right now, using your money right now to pay that. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, again, quick reminder, head over to the QuickBooks University. I'd love to teach you how to use QuickBooks from start to finish. That website is qbuniversity.org.